Are you debating between the S9 Ultra and S8 Ultra models of the Samsung Galaxy Tab? Although the two versions are remarkably similar, there are some significant variations. To assist you in making an informed choice, we'll examine each device's features in greater detail. The Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra is already enormous. It cannot be classified as a one-hand device and has the footprint of a laptop. It will be on a table or propped up with a keyboard more often when you're working or binge-watching Netflix. It appears that the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra will go in the same manner. A sizable canvas that comes with a S Pen and a magnetic strip for charging the device's stylus. The high-tech, tiny device is missing a headphone jack. According to some rumors, the S9 Ultra's battery will be smaller, which has raised the possibility that the gadget may undergo a little change. Either a thinner profile, which is incomprehensible to us, or even narrower bezels, which is also absurd to us. Anyhow, there must be a small facelift, right? Maybe Samsung will have worked out a method to get rid of the notch that took away a portion of that gorgeous screen. Tablets, especially those on this side, aren't frequently used as cameras. Yes, you want particularly good front-facing cameras for video meetings, but as long as the rear camera module can record details for documents, it doesn't matter all that much. However, the Tab S8 Ultra included two wide or ultra-wide angle 12MP front cameras. Of course, there was also a facial tracking option. We feel that the dual camera on the front is a tad excessive. Perhaps the Tab S9 Ultra will only have one. But there hasn't been any reliable information leaked about that. We don't have information on a backside camera upgrade. So it might be the same 13MP primary camera and 6MP ultra-wide camera again. The Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra will have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 made for Galaxy processor, just like the Galaxy S23 phones that went on sale in early 2023. It makes sense that a new gadget would contain the newest technology. It is a Snapdragon that Samsung and Qualcomm have jointly created that has been slightly overclocked. Cool. But even if that weren't the case, the Tab S9 Ultra should also receive an upgrade to UFS 4.0 storage, which is twice as quick as the UFS 3.1 that was previously in use. In addition, LPEDDR5X RAM is a little bit quicker than the non-X version. No, that won't render the Tab S8 Ultra immediately unnecessary. You can be sure that it will still be a beast of a tablet like it was last year. However, if you're just starting your search, the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra's future-proof tech might be a little more alluring. A number of rumors, the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra's battery may be 10,880 ma less powerful than the Tab S8 Ultra's at 11,200 ma. There isn't much of a difference, but we're still puzzled as to why it would be necessary. We are not very concerned about battery life. With a roughly 45% improvement in energy efficiency, UFS 4.0 should use a little bit less energy than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, right? Both of these tablets should have a battery life that is relatively comparable. There has been nothing about changes to charging speeds, thus both of these slates will use a 45 gb fast charger. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed our video, leave a like and subscribe for future updates.